Good day, I'm Teba Chumate with your midday news updates. Boeing defends fundamental safety of 737 MAX after crash report. Delil takes alleged George municipality corruption to public protector and Social Revolution Workers Party to lobby for South African Reserve Bank to be nationalized. Embattled U.S. aviation giant Boeing insisted on the fundamental safety of, of its 737 MAX aircraft but pledged to take all necessary steps to ensure the jet's airworthiness. The statements came hours after Ethiopian officials said pilots of the doomed plane had followed the company's recommended procedures prior to a crash that left 157 people dead. The preliminary findings released on Thursday by transportation authorities in Addis Ababa put the American aircraft giant under greater pressure to restore public trust. Good party leader Patricia DeLille has laid a complaint with the public protector over what she alleges an investment and kickback scheme in the Democratic Alliance-led George municipality. The municipality said that it is investigating allegations that one of its councillors used taxpayers' money in dodgy investment schemes. The Socialist Revolution Workers' Party says that nationalizing the South African Reserve Bank is one of the key policy objectives that it will lobby for. The party said that its, its manifesto is anchored on equality, work, and land. It believes that unemployment can be abolished in the next five years and wants to restructure personal income tax to be directly proportional to earnings. And now to your sports updates with Tatoa Mjali. Good afternoon, I'm Tata Simjali with your sports news. The South African Institute of Race Relations says a new poll which will be released later this year shows that 83 South Africans, of which 82 are black South Africans, believe that merit should be the only criteria for selecting national sports teams instead of quotas. IRRE has since welcomed the news that there will be no official quota system for the protest at the upcoming Cricket World Cup in England. The Institute also stated that rather than focusing on the racial makeup of the country's national sports teams, the country must strive as far as possible to ensure that everyone who wanted to play a sport and excel in it be given the opportunity to do so. And in your rugby news, a new song released in honor of retired Springbok player Pat Lambie. Singer Robbie Whistles released the song yesterday on his YouTube channel titled Patrick Lambie. The 28-year-old Lambie was forced to retire from professional rugby in January this year because of an ongoing battle with concussion systems. In the song, Whistles sings of Lambie, who is a hero, ambassador, and someone who does not give up. And lastly, near PSL fixtures, another top of the league clash as Orlando Pirates take on Bidvizvit. The two teams will fight to, to, to go to the summit of the Log Rather since Log leaders Mamelodi Sundowns are playing in the CAF Champions League against Egyptian giants El Ahli at the same time. Gabriello faced losing a point for fielding Wayne Arnes, who was not on the list of players against Viz last year. In other matches, Kaiser Chiefs will face Limpopo-based team Baroka FC tomorrow. That's all from the sports desk. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's take a look at your traffic and weather updates. Thank you, Tebatso. Good afternoon. Checking your traffic updates. Central Johannesburg is having too much traffic due to weather conditions and a protest march event. Alexander on the entry road, there's a stationary vehicle near London Road causing slow moving traffic. In Patfontaine on the N12 road, there is a car crash before Patfontaine Road. And lastly, in Chenshurin on the N1, there's also a car crash it happened a few minutes ago. Motorists should avoid speed on the major road. Moving to weather, Johannesburg is at 20 degrees Celsius with shower rainfall. Pretoria is at 23 degrees Celsius, Mudderand and Santon also at a max of 20 degrees Celsius. And that is it from me and the rest of the Jovic TV news team. Goodbye.